No, I'm just kidding. It wasn't that bad. Farewell, Holly D. It is a normal school day here at USF, but uh, classes are canceled. Obviously, they're canceled for the whole week, and it is so weird. Uh, we're in the middle of semester. It's a normal day, normal school week day. Here we are. There's hardly any cars in any of these parking spots. These are usually entirely filled up. I get in my car here. The skies are getting darker. It started raining in Sarasota. It's about an hour and a half south of here, so it's getting here quickly. It's time to go. So, uh, Ian has just made landfall in Southwest Florida, which is like the Fort Myers area primarily. That's about 130 miles south of where I currently am. We definitely have the more mild side of it, but it's it's kind of, oh, there's a big dust right there. It's just kind of, um, it's, it's weird, but it's kind of cool at the same time, to just like have that in the backdrop and then have the channel where the, the like eye of the storm is. I don't know, man, it's weird. It's starting to pick up a little bit here. It's still nothing crazy though. I think for this area, it's supposed to be at its peak tonight, so I'll keep you updated throughout it. The wind gusts are definitely picking up here a little bit, and this is only the very beginning of, of the storm for this area, and I can already tell you right now, it is already stronger than Irma was five years ago when it hit this area. Here's some footage from Irma right outside the same front porch and as you can see it just wasn't very strong. It was a very light rain and this is already resembling that and it's slightly stronger and it will pick up more. This is what I mean. This right here is stronger than Irma was. It's almost five o'clock and a couple of a couple of stronger wind gusts just started coming through, strongest that I've seen until today. So we're uh, we're we're getting to that time where uh, it'll be the outside part of the storm will be during this area. It's currently still going over Fort Myers. The eye is, and that's like 130 miles south of where I am. So it's really not that far in comparison to the size of a hurricane. So I don't know, man. We'll see how the rest of this day goes. These lower clouds here are moving very fast. I just looked at the radar and it seems like uh, we're in a very short break right now. There's not a whole lot of the rain clouds above us, but it's still drizzling a little bit uh, and it should pick up again soon. It is weird seeing how fast these clouds are flying through the sky. I mean, they are soaring. It almost looks like a time lapse in real time. It's weird. Once again, 20 miles north of downtown Tampa. It's my location. It's picking up and we'll pick up more. We'll see. It is 7.54 p.m. We're approaching 8 p.m. Eastern Time, which was projected to be close to about the worst for the Tampa area as far as the hurricane goes. There's a big wind gust right here. Well, these, these trees are swaying pretty intensely right now. As far as the rain goes, it's very, very mild rain. We've had far worse from average uh, summer afternoon thunderstorms from the Tampa area, but the wind, the wind is definitely way more intense than, than normal, uh, especially when these giant gusts come through. It's, it's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty cool. Here we go, here's another one. You know, Tampa has not 
been hit directly by a major hurricane in over a hundred years. So it almost makes you wonder if there's some scientific reason for that. It's very, very weird. It's very weird. Florida is a prominent location for hurricanes to hit, and Tampa has just avoided it, avoided a direct hit at least, for a hundred years now. It's, it's really weird, but Tampa's got some weird-ass anti-hurricane force field something. I, I don't know what it is, but Tampa always gets lucky. We, this one was projected to hit us just a couple of days ago over the weekend. They said it was going to go through St. Pete. It was going to go through Tampa. It, you know, a lot of people were, were worried about it, um, and a lot of people evacuated. Um, and it's still a good thing that those who are close to the water in this area evacuated because the hurricane had sucked away a lot of water in the bay. And when that comes back, it's going to cause a lot of flooding. So definitely still good for those people who evacuated. But as far as uh, those who are located a ways from the shore, a ways from the bay, a ways from the water, like the suburbs here of Tampa, 20 miles north, Land Lakes area, Land Lakes, Lutes, Wesley Chapel, that area. Everybody's all groovy up here. Just some pretty cool wind gusts, some light rain. It was raining a little harder earlier, but aside from the wind, this is no more than your average Florida rainstorm. It's nothing intense. Fort Myers, 150 miles south of here is where it got hit the worst. Made landfall in Punta Gorda area. And now it's just slowly going through the southwest area of Florida. So obviously you got to hope that all those people are safe and okay and they evacuated. But as far as uh, up here, everything is seemingly okay. The track is still very far from where Tampa is. I know St. Pete, I've been seeing videos of St. Pete in downtown Tampa. They've been getting some intense wind, nothing, nothing crazy. Nothing obviously life-threatening to anybody in those areas, but uh, still crazy. Nearing 8 p.m. Eastern time. There we go, here we go, here we go. That's a good one. That's a really good one. Look at these trees behind me. That palm tree up there is playing like crazy. I've heard a couple of trees snapping in my backyard too. That was a good one. But I mean, that's that's about the peak of it for this area. You, you get wind gusts just like that every so often. And that's about the worst that we've gotten. And the out-of-staters watching this who don't experience hurricanes, this is about what it's like to be located 150 miles away from a Cat 4, from the eye of a Cat 4 hurricane. This is about what it's like. Now when, when Irma hit, it was, I, I don't know how far away, but it was it was a ways away, closer to the Orlando area, and it, that was a Cat 2 or 3. It was a very mild Cat 3 or a, or a Cat 2, I, I can't remember, but it wasn't anything like this for the Tampa area. It was very weak, again, I had that vlog up five years ago, and it was nothing. There have been a lot of reports of, of power outages in nearby Tampa counties, including my county, Pasco County. I have not had a power outage yet. We hope it stays that way, but no power outages over here. I'll obviously keep you updated if that does happen, but as of right now, it's just, just like this. It's, in a way, relaxing, I guess. Wind gusts are kind of fun to experience when you're on the outer parts of the hurricane because they're not they're not intense. I mean, they're they're a little intense, but they're not anything that's gonna blow me over, or make me have trouble walking or any of that. So, Let's see if it gets worse. The hurricane is cutting across east now, uh, just kind of avoiding that Tampa area, like I said. But if it uh, changes and starts cutting up northeast then maybe maybe it'll get a little bit worse than it is now but i can't imagine it would be a whole lot worse than it is right now this is about gonna be the peak of it i think but again i'll keep updating you in case it changes
Rain is very mild. All right, I'll see you along the way. I'll keep you updated. Let's go. Like we're a brand new iPhone, dude. I don't want it to fall over. It is now 10 past 10. So here's your little 10 p.m. update. The weather has stayed more of the same in the last two hours. Although the rain has picked up a little bit, a little bit heavier now. Obviously you can't tell on video, but with my own two eyes, yeah, it's definitely picked up a little bit. The hurricane itself is weakening as it makes its way through Florida, but it is still category three. So it's still, still a hurricane, still a pretty strong one at that as well. But, you know, views from the suburbs of North Tampa. Rain's picking up, the trees are still swaying. We're still getting those every few minute wind gusts. So it, it, it's been more of the same. There comes one right here. We still have power. Have, have not lost power. And uh, we've made it this far, I think. We'll probably stay that way, but we'll see as time goes by. If you're located on the like outside part of the hurricane like I am here, they're, they're fun to sit through. They're fun to be outside for. Like, I, I think this is fun, but uh, not so fun for the people down south or getting hit by the eye. Not so fun for for those people, so we wish the best for them and, and their possessions. You know, if, if you're uh, if you're here like me, you're probably having a little bit of fun with this. Weird, like when, when you've grown up in Florida, you, you almost get like a little bit excited for hurricanes because it's like, oh man, these things are kind of fun to sit through sometimes. But uh, you know, you have all these, these new people who move here from up north and they freak out the second anything starts forming, they evacuate. And it's just really funny. Everybody starts buying all the water, all the toilet paper, total, total hysteria. The news blows it way out of proportion. But I, I mean, it's, I think it's fun. So I'm just taking it in. I'm, these things are so unpredictable. You never know when hurricanes are going to form. You never know when they're coming to your area and even when it seems like they're going to come to your area it could change this hurricane here it was supposed to come directly over tampa supposed to be a direct hit it was supposed to be tampa's first major hurricane uh in over 100 years and it turned early went over fort myers instead 150 miles south and uh and this is about the worst we're getting right here but uh you know it's been, it's been five years uh irma was the last and irma was a lot weaker than this was once it hit Tampa, once it hit North Tampa, it was, it was a lot weaker. A couple of small tree branches fell down, but it was light swaying, light wind gusts. If I had to guess, these are probably 35, 40 mile an hour wind gusts right here uh, every, every couple of minutes. But the rain is, is standard for Florida. This rain happens all the time. The wind's, wind's stronger than normal, obviously. Here comes another one, but Yeah, these can be fun when you're not in the uh, threatening part of the storm. Just to show you for example here, this right here, right down where you see 27 right here, this is the most extreme of the storm right here. This is where the eye was. It's still, you know, motioning as a, as a hurricane, but the eye of the actual storm is this little bit right over here as you can see that dark pink and purple areas which is obviously the most extreme of of the storm and that's that's what the extreme of it is it's going through central florida right now just want to show you up here near zephyr hills this general area is where i am located where i am filming from and so it's obviously a lot lighter but we're still getting those wind gusts coming through the clouds are still moving very quickly so just to show you the the magnitude of really how extreme these hurricanes are is just because we're so far away from the the eye of the storm yet we're still getting kind of this crazy windy weather way up here and so and that spans all the way up to jacksonville too which is crazy 
these storms are are no joke it, like the, it's wild how big these clouds are this whole section of it over here is the size of florida in its entirety that's just that's unreal to me and then it just goes all the way up and it's a big cloud but obviously the extreme of it is right here down near sebring but that's what we're looking at like i was saying earlier the storm was projected to come up come up the gulf here and then turn over here near st pete and tampa what ended up happening was it turned 130 miles early over near the fort myers area and it officially it officially made landfall over here in these keys as soon as it got over here fort myers naples i, I mean it was just it was hammering those cities and it was unreal to see it unfold on the weather channel today but there you go that's that's what we're dealing with here 11 p.m update the storm has weakened to a category two uh it is mainly affecting central florida still as a cat two still the outer parts that we have here in tampa north tampa and you can feel it staying more of the same. That being said, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, that was about the peak. Right now, we're kind of shifting away from that peak. But with that, this is about the highlight. So I'm gonna sign off. Good night, thank you for watching this vlog. That was neighbor's garden though. Anyway, with that being said, I'm gonna sign off now. Hope you have a great night. Stay safe, y'all. Back five years later with another hurricane vlog. Maybe we'll get another one soon on this channel. A couple years from now or something like that. Who knows? See you in the next one. Hopefully it's a sports vlog.